Hi everyone. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. I've been super busy uh, with school and work. I am working on a PhD degree right now and so that takes up the majority of my time. But I wanted to, to post a video here about how you can uh, load Google imagery into QGIS uh, with the new QGIS version. So this is version 3 and I'm specifically using 3.4 right now. So I have another video on this for QGIS 2.18, um, but the method is a little different in the newest version of QGIS, so I want to go over that with you. Um, I also want to mention that I have a, an online course uh, on Teachable, uh, opensourceoptions.teachable.com will get you there, that will teach you how to do this and to use a plugin to automate this process. But let's go ahead and, and we'll do this. We'll start this off first of all. So first we're going to go to the browser tab down here. And we have XYZ tiles. So if I have uh, files in here, what will happen is I'll have a little arrow next to it. Like you can say, see here in the WMS, WMTS, I have some, some NAPE imagery in there. I don't have any XYZ tiles yet. But if I right click, I can do new connection. And then I can give it a name. This is whatever you want to call it. So I'll call this Google Satellite. And then I need a URL to the imagery server. And I've copied that here. Um, you can find, you can search and find these online. Uh, you can do this for other things like OpenStreetMap, uh, Bing Imagery, uh, any other of those imagery servers you might want to use. And so I'm going to leave the default the same. I'm going to click OK. Now you can see it's put Google Satellite in my XYZ tiles, and I can open and close that. I'm just going to grab Google Satellite, drag it over, and there you can see that it pops up your imagery. Um, so that's quick and simple. That's a real easy way uh, to get your Google imagery uh, into QGIS. Now, like I said, I have that course uh, on Teachable, opensourceoptions.teachable.com. And I have that will help you do this with the plugin and it can automate the process. It has the links to all these different imagery servers in there um, that, that can help you get started with that and with developing plugins, custom plugins for QGIS. Um, yeah, also, um, I should have some time to make some more videos and go through some more tutorials here in the next couple of months. So if there is anything you're interested in seeing, as far as QGIS or GIS Python is concerned, um, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll see if I can get to those in the next couple of months. Uh, thank you for watching. appreciate the support. Uh, once again, let me know if you have any questions or any ideas for future videos. Have a great day.